Good morning, scholars. Thank you so much for watching this video today and being here with me. I am so happy you're here. Um, so we're going to have so much fun today. So I just want to continue to thank you, parents, for making sure they watch this video uh, and just continue to uh, foster that productive struggle. It's okay if they need a few seconds to figure out the answer. Um, you can just maybe reread the question if they seem stuck or tell them, look at the picture to find the answer. Or if they keep on telling them every day that Miss Flynn believes in you and I do too. So you can do it. You can do it. I know you can. So let's get started. So our fluency for today, we've been counting by twos, and today we're going to count by twos all the way to 100. We're going to try our best, okay? Oh, we're going to try to go slow. We're going to try our best because we got this. All right, let's get ready. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight, thirty, thirty two, thirty four, thirty six. 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. Good. You're doing a great job. What number did I land on? 50. Good. 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, good. 62, 64, 66, 68, 70. What's that number? 70. 72, 74, 76, 78, 80. What's this number? 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, almost there, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100. Whenever we count to 100 in class, our voice always gets a little bit louder on 100, doesn't it, class? <laughs> okay, so today is... Wednesday, April the 8th, 2020. I can add zero to get the same number. So we're still going to be using our number path today. I'm about to draw it. Um, parents, please help us draw our number path today um, because I want it to be straight on our paper. Um, because that is the best way to use our number path. Okay, so let me show you the best way to use our number path. Numbers 1 through 10. Just numbers 1 through 10. Just like yesterday. 1, 2, 3. They don't have to be perfect squares. See, these squares are different sizes. It's okay. Four, five. The important thing is that it's straight in a row. Because we said that it looked just like the first row on our 100 chart, right? This one is just a little bit, not as long, but it just looks just like it, right? 
One, two, let's point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what we have. Numbers one through ten. So parents, please help draw it today so that we have a perfect straight line. Thank you. Pause it if you need to. All right. So we only need our one object like we did yesterday. And like I said, we are going to be adding zero to our number to get the same number. Hmm. So let's figure out how are we going to do this. So this is called our number path. Our what? Number path. And it's numbers 1 through 10. Good, numbers 1 through 10. Okay. So, are our numbers in order? Ooh, they are. They are in order. They are in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's very important. Make sure your numbers are in order on your paper, too. Okay? All right. So, the first number we're going to count and, and move our one object to is five. So, let's count and move our object to five. So start at one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now let's start our number sentence. What number did we start at? Five. We started at five. And remember, today we're adding. So we are going to add. So first we're going to do a little bit of what we did yesterday. Okay? So we have five, and let's say we have five unicorns. Ooh, I know you guys love unicorns. So we have five unicorns. These are five unicorn toys. And then we get three more toys, but these toys are toy cars, okay? So if we are adding more, which way are we going? This way, to the left where numbers are smaller, or this way where numbers are bigger, to the right. To the right, because our number is going to be bigger. We're getting more toys. We're not taking away toys, we're getting more toys. Okay, so how many toys are we getting? Three. We're getting three more toys. Ready? Let's go. We're going to move our object that's on five. We're going to move it three times. One, two, three. So five plus three equals what number did we land on? Eight. Good. We landed on eight. All right, let's do one of our stories, that, another one of our stories that we have up here. So make sure you just, you can continue to just use this one number path that is on your paper and your one object. So our next story is David found six pine cones in the park. He found how many pine cones? Six pine cones. Awesome. Okay. So let's move our piece to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sure you beat me because you found six before me. Good job. <laughs> now, he was at the park and he, so our first number is six because that's what we started out with. He looked and looked, and he could not find any more pine cones. So we are adding, how many pine cones did he find? He didn't find any more. What number would we write for, he didn't find any? What number is that? 
number for none. Zero, that's right. Zero. So six, and if he, plus, if he didn't find any, then that would be zero. What number did he land on if he didn't find any? He landed on six. Did we move? No. Did we take away any? No. Did we add any? No. Okay. So we have six plus zero is six. Mm. That worked out for David. David only had six pine cones. Not just six, six pine cones. Silly Miss Flynn. So make sure you, you know that it's not just a number, it's six pine cones, okay? So let's see if we could do another story. Let's see if this works with every story that has none. So Megan had eight pieces of candy. Mmm. Bridget, if you love some candy, I know you do. I would love to give you out some candy. <laughs> okay, so now what number are we going to? Eight. Oh, you already knew that. Kiss your brain. Good job. So we need to move all the way to eight because she had eight pieces of candy. So what number did she start with? Eight. And we are adding. And then she didn't find... Any more candy in the house? She didn't find any more candy in the house. So what number did we say was for when she didn't find any more? Zero, that's right. Zero is for I can't find any more. So if she didn't find any more, what number did she end up on? Eight, she stayed on eight. Because did we get any more candy? No. But did we take away any candy? Nope. We still have eight pieces of candy. We didn't move. So we still have eight. So eight plus zero or nothing equals eight. Because we didn't move. So make sure you are moving your object on your number line with me. Okay? So that you see... We didn't move. We didn't get any more candy. Okay. Okay, now we're ready. Let's see. We are ready for your on your own work. Let's see what you can do. Make sure you are using your number path, okay? I know that you know all of your addition sentences because you guys have gotten so good at that. But I really want you to hop and skip with that cute little object. Okay? So let me zoom in on your on your own work. Okay, you can go ahead and pause that. Oh, wait, let me... There you go, you can go ahead and pause that. That is your on your own work. So it's a combination of yesterday's work and today's work. But make sure you still have your number path. You need your number path to answer these problems. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. I am here to help. And I miss you guys so much. So please send me pictures of your beautiful faces. Um, and I look forward to seeing your work. I'll see you guys later. Bye.